Hey up guys, how's it going? Jack's Reaper here again, Fallout 4 and if you don't recognise it from there we're at Country Crossing, right here on the map just outside the National Guard training yard, right there on the map I'm sure he's almost uh, recognised Country Crossing by now though here's the favourite for most builders so this is on PT2, this guy does have the walled settlements but this uh, this settlement isn't pre-walled in the, in the mod um, this one, this settlement isn't included. So why well, I've done it with the junk walls all the way around the outside. Went off a little run around the outside in a minute. I do like using them uh, container boxes as well. But it's still just after I've done PT2 and he used to use these blocks going right the way around. So there is a few of them blocks and that around as well. That's a little guard tower there. Went off a little wander inside. This guy stood here. Uh, that's a place to have a guard mat I suppose <laughs> we've got a guard up here staring straight at this tree no <laughs> he can look out all over the sides can he looks down there down there kind of somewhat straight shoot him straight off he's got a little bit of cover I suppose they're a little bit floaty that's because of the top of this goddamn thing it doesn't it either glitches on the bottom and floats on the top, but there's always something wrong with this trailer. We should just get this trailer to work right because it is a really nice little piece, I think. Like uh, quite rusty and, and worn, uh, weather worn. I quite like it. Got a little seating area outside here. Hopefully, we've turned off all the radios on this one, but we'll find out soon, I'm, I'm sure. So, we've got the two bunk beds in here one over there, and one over there. We come out here, we've got the little fire area, a couple of benches around it, a few moot fruits. And then a power generator, power in this uh, right here. We'll come up on here, and this is a little guy tower looking over the front road. Right there. A little look over this side of the settlement. the red tent again up there and we come round and then there's another little guard area to go up to up here and this is going on top of the clinic I don't know if you just saw we've got the uh, machine gun turrets on either side of the guard station there another little look around a bit of a weird placement for me to have that uh, recruitment beacon I must have just put it there and forgot to move it and moved on from this settlement but really that should have been somewhere else maybe could have probably gone in the corner up here and out of the way you know but oh well we'll head on down here for now another mute fruit clinic underneath chemistry workstation there and everything you need they're inside the cupboards they're nice and tidy in this settlement by the looks of things because there ain't no junk decorating being done Got another little guard station here, looking over the front road again. And down the road, making sure we're all alright. Got the machine gun turret up there. I'm hoping he ain't shooting at someone down that other side of that street down there. Shoot my boy in the back of the head. Come up here, we've got the bar. Again, trying to move slow. Uh, I'll go down here first. Let's stick to this side. So we can come up here. This is another little guard station. Now I do have a lot more guard stations than I do guards, so the guards will wander around, go to different places. Um, I used to do that in my older builds all the time. Now I tend to get them up get to keep them in one place because they then just to get stuck I mean this is quite a open settlement really there's a uh, quite a lot of space for them to walk around and not get stuck on stuff but they inevitably will anyway you've got your general store there got a little uh, a little floating work um, guard station <laughs> there as well that could have been done with sink sinking just a little bit we come up here another guard station yeah put up on another wooden uh, concrete blocks 
dragging these all over the Commonwealth from sick ex excavations. I'm gonna drag these blocks absolutely everywhere. There's a um, there's a Finch farm settlement here. I'm gonna do soon, and it's uh, it's mad. <laughs> Well, if the Romans could drag them, not the Romans, the Egyptians could r drag them uh, them stones around for the uh, pyramids, like we're supposed to believe, then uh, I'm sure these cars could do it 200 years in the future. My five turret there. And a nice floaty roof with no support. Perfect. Excellent. There's a junk wall right through the middle here, because obviously this front side for the defence of the settlement. So they have to they have to come down and make their way through here. God knows what all these rugs are for. They must have been put on the floor for when uh, I was trying to drop something in, surely. I've just forgot to pick them up. I, w I don't know what though, because I've just left them on. I've just shot a load of rugs on the floor. <laughs> so we'll come on up here. I think this is a little living area. Oh no, it's not. It's a clothing star. Clothing star up on the top, and this guy with his uh, handlebar attached and sideburns. The little cooking area that was already out here, because I don't, I don't get the fires when we're not having the DLCs. I don't have any fire. Um, so when, if, when there is a fire in a settlement like there is here, I tr do try and leave it. It's a little bit unique for me, you know. Then we've got the little weapons uh, trader here. Would be nice with a few weapons up on the shelves and stuff, but hey ho, that's how it is, I suppose. Well, we'll keep on going this way, and in round this back end is where we've got the farm. This is the back end of the general store, the back side of the general store. We've got all the mute fruits here. I do like the mute fruit. The mute fruit does obviously one person per plant, so you know where you're at with it. And I'm just growing absolute loads of it. <coughs> I didn't really, I did all the supply lines, I do do supply lines in this, uh, but it was more for the stuff, I just grew copious amounts of uh, food for absolutely no reason. <laughs> this guy's going to block me from getting in here, isn't he? Get back to Diamond City one Come on! <sighs> Biggest I ever saw. Are we serious? <sighs> My back hurts. I mean, it's just two floors of beds, but what? Let's do this. Just gonna wait for it to load up a sec. Just gonna go into the build menu. Oh, move that. Right, there we go. Yeah, so it's just rows and rows of beds in here. <laughs> Minuteman flags all over the walls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. I don't know how many people I thought I was gonna have in this settlement because I bet you there's a second floor just exactly the same. Freaking 40 beds or something. We come up here, we've got the uh, mortar turret there. I can't remember what it was called there for a second. <laughs> Couple of guard mats on the floor, little seating area for to chill out. Oh no, okay, fair enough. Up here, we've just got a little seating area. A little desk for doing admin and things like that. A little seating area for to chill out, a little cooking station there. There's this opportunity to have a little look out here over the settlement with all the defences on that back wall. It's mad they've got all the defences on this back side, but that front side doesn't actually have that much defence. It's got like three. Well, I suppose there is one guy stood in the middle of the fence, so in the middle of the gate. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to. Farm run by ghouls. I've heard about you being in the goddamn way. I know that. Right, I'll just go back into the menu. Sorry about this, guys. Just go back into the menu. Um, you know what settlers are like. Just get in the goddamn way all the time. There we go. Right. So we'll come back up here. We've got the uh, armor workstation. So we've got two power armor. One power armor getting worked on. We'll arm the workbench in the back there. Come back down. Come on round. Got a little guard station here. Satellite array over there and the uh, military training area there. We come up in here and we've got the train. So when the train front end, we've got the little guard post. 
Card posts absolutely everywhere, and then a couple of beds on that side, and a living quarters. And I said, Yeah, it is. Little seating area, chill out area, armor workbench, a little out sort of a little porch area for on the night time chilling out. We can actually go down the other side, I think. Yes, we can. We come up this one, and then up here. And this is on the side of the gate, the one we originally looked up at, that was on top of the uh, container, the orange container. So there we go. That was my country crossing on PT3, uh, playthrough 3. It was the one with the uh, settlement walls, like I say, didn't get the settlement walls on this, uh, on this settlement from that mod. But yeah, it's uh, ideal all the way around the outside there. I've managed to somehow slide that junk fence in there. I must have used the, uh, the rug glitch to get that in there, running in this, uh, this thing. So yes, yeah, pretty. It takes up pretty much the whole settlement. Bit of a repetitive junk wall usage on there, but uh, I only have a few. I don't have um, all the different colours and everything because my USO it just just doesn't have them in. I don't know whether it's a load order thing or whether it's because I don't have the DLCs. But either way, I've only got a few to choose from. I do seem to have more than what I did back then as well now. So I don't know whether some of it is a load order thing. You know, we've got the junk gate there. People looking over the top, all my machine gun turrets absolutely everywhere because I used to cover places. So I didn't used to stop until I had like over 300 <laughs> defense on everything. Not that it's needed. The back end of that little there, uh, it's a little bit floaty like on this side. But yeah, I think that's really good. I um, I kind of stopped using them crates and I wish I'd carried on. I'm going to start using them a little bit more. But that there's my country crossing. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It'd be really appreciated. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. There'll be plenty more building in Fallout 4 to come. And I also play all the games on the channel as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you see. And, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.